Oh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant, the legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening on the Nintendo Switch. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. And if not, and there's anything you want to talk about, anything you want to get off your chest, feel free to drop me a comment below and I will respond to you as soon as possible and, you know, hopefully put a smile back on your face. Now, in the last video, if you didn't see it, we did a couple of miscellaneous tasks. We collected a few heart pieces. We escorted a ghost back to her resting place, aka her grave, and as a reward we got a jar. Now normally I would probably pre I would probably be pretty livid if somebody gave me a jar as a reward, but in this game we can use that jar to collect a fairy and then we can use it to heal ourselves at any point, which is very, very nice. Fully heal. It's like carrying around a medical kit. So we did that in the last video. And we also did a mission where we had to find an ocarina and learn a few songs and then also talk to a big fish who learnt us a song that will allow us to now walk to any point in the map that we want to walk to. So let me show you quickly. If I come back onto the menu, well, I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> but if you press Y, I'm playing uh, Marin's Song of the Windfish. But um, if you come onto the menu and you select the ocarina and then you click on the fish, then if I come over to here and I press Y, See, I will now be able to teleport to any of the warp points on the map, which is very, very nice. So we need to go to the bay, because if you remember, when we picked up the uh, instrument inside the uh, Angler's Dungeon, um, the instrument said the bay, head to the bay or something like that. And then after we took that ghost home, uh, the owl mentioned that we need to go to the catfish's mall in the bay, which is this bit right here. So this is where the next dungeon is going to be. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think this dungeon was too bad in terms of... Because some of these dungeons are a bit more difficult to like navigate, isn't they? Where you need, to, you need to do a lot of messing around and back and forth and stuff. This dungeon wasn't so bad in terms of that. But I think, there's, I think the boss was a bit more difficult. And also a mini boss that we need to defeat was also a bit of a pain in the butt. Because he keeps on and on and on running away from you. And you have to go to a different area to fight him again. So... I remember the mini boss being a bit of a pain in the butt in this uh, in this dungeon. I don't think we can kill those fishes, but yeah, it took me. I shit you not, it took me about pff, ten minutes to work out how the hell to get into this dungeon. Because if you look very carefully, look, you see that little those little bubbles. Well, if you come over to these little bubbles and you press B, you go underwater, <laughs> and this is how you get into the flipping dungeon. I shit you not. I was spending 10 minutes swimming in circles trying to work out how the bloody hell do I get into this dungeon. And I thought maybe there was like a secret entrance somewhere. And then I just noticed those bubbles and thought, alright, I'll go over to that and see what happens. And then I managed to get into the dungeon. <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes of swimming around like a twat. Good job I wasn't recording when I was doing that. Those people would have been fuming with me. Are you blind, Beowulf? What are you doing? <laughs> Martha's Bay. Lovely. Right, so I think what we need to do in this dungeon first, I think obviously we need to find the compass, we need to find the map, we need to find the nightmare key, um, but I think we also need to find the uh, the new power that we're going to get in this dungeon, because as you all, you all know you get a new power in these dungeons, whether it's flippers, jumping, super strength or pegasus boots, I think in this one, I think we get... Um, I think it's like a ninja rope and it will allow you to reach places that are inaccessible in this dungeon and also in the game as well like some of those holes that are like four holes long we can use the ninja rope to get across those four hole holes so it allows you to reach things that are normally inaccessible it's very good as well you can also use it against enemies you can hit them with the rope and it stuns them so this ninja rope is actually very good but to get it we need to, like that hole right there, I can't jump across that hole because it's too big. So with the ninja rope, I'll be able to get across that big hole. So I think to get the ninja rope, if I remember correctly, I think we need to defeat the boss first. So there's going to be like a boss we need to take down. It's a, it's a boss that you need to use bombs on. So make sure when you come to this dungeon, you've got plenty of bombs. Because if you don't, then... Uh, you're not going to be able to defeat this boss because if you do it perfectly, you're going to need 
12 bombs. That's if you do it flawlessly and don't mess up with the bombs at all. So you're going to need at least 12 bombs if you do it perfectly. So make sure you've got a lot of bombs when you come in. I need to actually equip my bombs. Oh no, whoops. Oh no. Oh no, it's going to... Okay, thank God. I thought it was going to teleport me to the entrance. I need to equip my uh, bombs again. I've only got 15, that's not good. I think there are a stack of 10 you can find in this dungeon though, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But yeah, I think we need to defeat the boss first. And then... Uh, we can do the rest of the dungeon. Because there's not much point doing the dungeon until you've got this uh, ninja rope. Because you're going you're gonna to keep getting to places that you can't actually access yet. Ouch. Stupid. Looks like a Bidoof, doesn't it? From Pokemon. <laughs> With like a blue shell stuck on his head. I apologise if you can hear all of the screaming and shouting. The kids are being very, very loud today. Like they are. There's there's days where there's loud, and then there's days where there's pathetic. And it's one of those days where they're being pathetic, you know. Because uh, the school I work in is actually the one next to my house, and clearly they don't understand what social distancing is, and they definitely ain't been following the rules. Last week, they actually think one of the kids in there had COVID. And they still haven't got any test results back. So I've been working in that school around fucking all kinds of disgusting stuff. So, you know, it's not, not the best for me because you all know I've got asthma. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting really tired of all this crap, to be completely honest. It's just too much stress. Oops. Why do I keep doing that? I've got no idea why I keep doing that. Because you're a moron, b -wolf. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Whoops. You need to jump on his counterweights and then use it to... Uh, Use it to get across these holes. It's because I can hear a lot of screaming and shouting and it's really starting to distract me. Sorry. I can't deal with noise. It really angers me. If you can't hear that in this video, it's an absolute miracle. There we go. Lovely. Right. So. Oh god. Oh come on! I dodged that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if we've ever seen these red skeletons before, have we? But these red skeletons, I think they throw shit at you because you've got the white skeletons that are just basic enemies. These stupid green ones won't stop jumping around like Zebedee. And then you've got, uh, I think these ones throw stuff, don't they? Yeah, they're, they're chucking their bones at me, which is quite kinky, ain't it? There we go. Lovely. Make sure I keep my shield up. Oh, actually. I mean, my compass probably made a noise when I came into this room. But I've got my TV very low. So I didn't actually hear it. But I'm pretty sure if I push these together, I get a, um, a key. Or a chest. Yep, there we go. Good job I remembered that. Because when you pick up the compass, it plays a noise when you're in a room that's got something in it. So, And it also lets you know where all of the chests are on the map, as you can see. <laughs> Lovely. So we can go back there and we can open up that door. But I'm not going to... Actually, do I need to do that yet? I'm not sure. I think this might... Yeah, yeah, we do have to go back. Now, this room here, you might be thinking that this is like a puzzle or something. But this is actually the fourth room where you're going to fight the boss. Because I think I mentioned it in this video... But the boss you're going to battle, uh, he teleports into different rooms every time you defeat him. So this is going to be the fourth and final room that you're going to battle him in. So every time you see a room with these little green squares, uh, that means it's like the fourth, third, second or first uh, room. So uh, when you've defeated him in the first room, you want to go to the room with two of these in it. And that's where you're going to fight him again. So yeah, there's a lot of back and forth in this bit. Just for killing this bloody uh, boss. But once you've done that, you get a cool item for it. And then you can do the rest of the dungeon with relative ease. Because that ninja rope is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Lovely. I feel like I need to uh, change the buttons for these bombs. Because I keep on pressing the wrong button. I don't know why I keep doing it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, leave me alone. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, watch out for the bats. Don't want to be turned into a vampire. Okay. 
I don't think there's any reward for killing all because in some of the rooms, as you probably noticed in this game, in some of the rooms there are uh, a bunch of enemies and if you kill them all then you get rewarded with a door opening or you get rewarded with like an item or something like that. So uh, it's always good to kill all of the enemies but I don't know if I need to in this bit. I need to find the map though because um, I can't really remember this dungeon very much. I think uh, the, the tips that you get from the tips that you get from the uh, owl is actually very useful because um, when you fight this next boss, I mean it doesn't even tell you that you need to use bombs. I mean I managed to work it out on my own just through trial and error because I actually started fighting the boss before I got the beak. <laughs> but I think he says that uh, use the bombs on the boss. I mean he specifies what the boss is, but I don't want to spoil it. But um, yeah, I think that's one of the hints, and I think another hint is about a, a a water, a body of water that we need to dive into, I think. So, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of hints from the owl that are very useful. Oh, here we go. <laughs> he didn't say nothing, did he? But you can smack his shield, and then you can quickly hit him, and then quickly place a bomb. Really quickly though. There you go, and that's how you do damage to him. So you hit him, hit him again, place a bomb. Uh, during the later stages of this battle, like when he teleports away, uh, he starts swinging a lot more often and he he, uh, he recovers from his uh, smack a bit quicker too. So you've got to be a bit quicker and a bit more careful in the later stages. Ah, oh, I can't beat you, I'm out of here. <laughs> you gave up very quickly, didn't you, mate? Lovely. But as you can see, this room's got one green square, so we need to go to the one with two green squares next. Oh, what's this? Just trying to remember which uh, which sets of stairs I don't need to go down. I've got what was inside this box. Come and get it if you can, master. Oh, so that's why. So that's why you, because normally you get your upgrades from chests, don't you? Like your. Uh, Pegasus boots and stuff like that. So that's probably why you have to get it from the skeleton then. I always wondered why he had it. I didn't even remember that this chest was here. <laughs> so the bloody skeleton has stolen what was in this chest. Brilliant. Which was the ninja rope. Um, Do I want to go this way yet? I think that doorway there might be what leads you to the third... To the second... Uh, no, it might be the third actually. The third room for the skeleton fight. Possibly. Well, it was close, wasn't it? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Just got randomly teleported back, then. Do I get anything for breaking these? There's got to be something for breaking these, isn't there? Or are they just there to be a nuisance? Nope, just there to be a nuisance. Brilliant. Well, that was a waste of, like, ten seconds, wasn't it? Ah, right, now this uh, this bit right here, one of, I don't know, I think the hint that you get from the uh, owl is something to do with these lamps. And then if you line yourself up with these lamps inside that body of water, and then you press B to go underwater, then you dive and you can reach a new area. But we don't actually have to do that yet. I think that might be where we need to go through to get to the, I don't know, I think, let me have a look. I think we might need either the ninja rope first. No, this might be where you have to go to to get to the to the boss, like the main boss, possibly. So we're not going to go down there just yet. And we also can't go this way yet either, so that was a waste of time. Because <laughs> that's a complete dead end. Ouch! I always take so much unnecessary damage from these bloody things. Alright, so we're going to push this this way now. Now we're going to press the button. Now we're going to come up here. There's no point in really doing anything there yet. And then we can push push this down. For God's sake, <laughs> I'm rushing a bit too much. Yeah, it is the one with two. Okay. I can't remember where the third one is. Gulp, you found me. You're a real pesky kid, you know that? How dare you? I'm not a kid. I'm a full-grown adult. I'm just very short. The way he swings his sword... Like when he goes to swing his sword, yeah, as you just saw then, you can actually you can actually swipe him very quickly before he gets his shield back up. Ready? It's like you can swipe very quickly before he hits you. So 
so you can actually get a cheeky smack in. Oh, I can't beat you, I'm out of here. <laughs> Said the exact same thing again. I don't actually know, where's the third one then? And where's my map, and where's my beak? I thought I normally found them by now. Let me come up this way quickly. I can go up, um... Ouch. Actually, I could have gone and bought my, uh... I could have gone and bought the bow. Yeah, I've got enough to buy the bow now. 988. I think there's also a boomerang you can unlock in this game. I don't know if it's, like, required, but I think you can get a boomerang in this game. Because I'm doing a lot of trading at the moment in my own playthrough. Because uh, if you remember, when I traded that pineapple to that uh, guy on the mountain before we entered the uh, angler's dungeon, um, I got a hibiscus or whatever they're called, that flower, as a reward. And I gave it to the goat. And then I had to do a bunch more trading. I think it led to me getting a boomerang, maybe. I don't know if you need it, because I've not used it in my playthrough or anything. But I think it might just be a cool weapon. Similar to the ocarina. You don't need it, but it's useful. So uh, maybe we'll get the boomerang in one of the videos too. Maybe I'll do it in the next video if you want. I'll go and get the boomerang if you want to see that. Yeah, so we can't go through... Oh, actually, no, we can. We need to kill all of the slimes. I think we can move these. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Not sure what's up here. Might be another... Oh, oh, well, there you go. There's the third room. And I think this room next to me might be where I'll get the chest. Gulp, you found me. You're a real pesky kid, you know that. <laughs> he just says the same shit over and over, doesn't he? Ouch. See, he's getting a bit quicker now. But if you uh, hit him and he deflects, then quickly go to the side of him and then hit him in the butt. So he deflects like that, and then you want to go to like his light. I don't know. I guess it would be his his uh, right shoulder or his left shoulder. Yeah, it'd be his left shoulder, wouldn't it? He's got his. He's actually doing a bit of damage to me now. He's actually uh, he's found his balls, isn't he? He's got to be very quick. Make him block and then quickly hit his other shoulder and then you do some damage to him. Then you can put a bomb down to hurt him. Oh, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. We haven't wasted any bombs so far, though. That's a good thing. If we, I don't think, yeah, I don't think we've wasted any bombs. If you do run out of bombs, though, I'm pretty sure there's a room somewhere that gives you ten bombs. I don't know where it is, but it's like, ten, like, like, like those love hearts. There's just like a floating ten bombs. I can't remember where they are. And also, you've got two jars that always seem to give you bombs if you break them, like two, two of these. So... Oh, what a throw. I nearly pressed the bomb button then. I nearly did it again. <laughs> I nearly did it again. Where I laid a bomb instead of doing damage. I'm not going to bother picking that up. Because uh, there's no enemies nearby. And the music it plays is very loud. Oh, we finally got the bloody map. <laughs> at last, you got a map. Yeah, at last indeed. Right, where ain't we been then? We can't get these chests until we get the... Uh, the ninja rope. I think we can go in. No, we can't get that one either because we need the ninja rope. So we can't get any of these until we've defeated the skeleton. Uh, where else do we need to go? I haven't been down that set of stairs yet, have I? I don't think. We can't do nothing with this body of water yet. I think that leads to somewhere where I need a ninja rope. So we must be... Yeah, I think we need to go... Oh, it can't be there. I can't actually remember. We're going to have to walk around a little bit. I can't actually remember 100% where I need to go to next. I know where I can go when I've got the... Uh, when I've got the ninja rope, but... Because look, I, cause you see that thing there that looks like one of those... Uh, what are those things that they... I think they play them in France a lot, don't they? An accordion in it or something like that? You know, the things with the buttons and then you pull it back and forth and it plays that music that you hear in France a lot. I think it's an accordion, ain't it? I don't even know what the hell it's called. It might be an accordion. I could be talking bullshit. <laughs> but you use the ninja rope to yank those and make a bridge. And you could also use it to get across big holes as well. Ouch! Even not Oh no! <laughs> I just got fucked up big time! Have you noticed? I don't know if you guys and girls do it, but have you noticed when we play video games, us gamers, that when our characters get hit, we say ouch. Because we feel the pain too, don't we? We feel the pain too. 
Let's have a look down here. Oh, well, there you go. I can get my bombs in here. So if you want any bombs, this is where you get them. Oh, you bastard. I think the worst enemy in this game is by far these stupid fireballs. I wish you could kill them. I don't know why I'm trying to... I literally just did that in the stupidest way ever. I could have just jumped across this hole, but I decided to do it in the most awkward way ever, didn't I? <laughs> um... Ah! <laughs> so this is where the uh, two... Yeah. So we need to go and find the free start, the free, the free green, the free green room there, and then we need to go and oh god, it must be down these stairs we need to go. Oh yeah, if you break these, you normally get bombs. Yeah, there we go, lovely. And I'm full health again, and I think I've still got a fairy in my jar as well. Oh, watch out! They don't even look like piranhas. Yeah, this is where we need to go next. Ouch! Because one set of stairs you can't actually do anything in. Cause, yeah, because one of the sets of stairs leads you to a, uh, a place with uh, where you need the ninja rope and then that little body of water that you can dive into, I think that leads you to the boss and there's no point going there if you don't have the... Uh, I think you need a silver key and a nightmare key. So, uh, yeah, that's why I was I was reluctant to use the set of stairs because I thought it was the wrong way. We still ain't found a beak, so there's got to be a um, there's got to be a chest I've missed somewhere that's actually easy to get to. Because <laughs> see the nightmare door up there. Ow! Will you stop it, you flipping fiery little devils? Yeah, see. So I think this will lead me. Where will this lead me then? Because we can come back here after and we can use the uh, the ninja ropes. I hope this is... Yeah, this is the right way. Okay. Lovely. Yeah, it's getting a little bit confuzzled at first. This dungeon does take a bit of time. Oh, go away. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Shooting fire at me, that weird little eye. Ow! Get off me, slime! God damn, I'm taking so much unnecessary... Oh, look at this! Oh, fuck, wrong button. <laughs> look at this! Ten arrows! You picked up an arrow. Too bad you don't have a bow to deliver the ow. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, we'll go this way first. Oh, we're not going to go that way just yet. I don't think there's any point going that way. Yeah, because I don't think we can get to the chest anyway. So yeah, don't bother going this way. And also, when you're trying to jump across these holes, you'll take unnecessary damage from those spinny things and it'll just knock you into the hole and you'll take tons of damage. Get over to the other side and realise you can't actually do anything until you've got the ninja rope. And with the ninja rope, you get across this bit really quick with no damage. So yeah, one of these rooms has to be where we have the third battle then. Ow! Ah, fucking hell, Beowulf. What are you doing, you twit? Oh, my God. I don't even know if I need to kill these. Oh, that was risky. Well, yeah, I did need to kill them. Right, we'll go this way first. So what is even in here? Come on. Oh, get. Oh, for God's sake. I, I hate, I flipping hate. I hate those bloody fireballs. Oh, sweet. What's that going to be then? That better not be the beak. I don't need a beak anymore. I don't want the beak. I don't need it. I don't flipping need it. Oh, my God. The amount of unnecessary damage I'm taking in this video. If I was playing on the higher difficulty, I'd be dead. Oh, it took me back to the start. Oh, actually... Let me have a look on the map quickly. Have I been down that set of stairs?
That leads back to the beginning, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It must be this way then. Maybe. Or does that or does that lead to the fourth boss? Um the uh the fourth room. No, this is the place with the counter weights, ain't it? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm... Why the hell don't I know where to go? I do have a look on here. Oh. It might be... Let's have a look. It's got to be a room I ain't been in. It's got to be like... I don't know. I don't know which room it is. We're just going to have to run around and find out, I guess. It's probably just a, uh, a set of stairs I haven't gone down. That's probably what's doing it. Right. Have we been down this set of stairs? Yes, we have. Let's have a look. We've been this way, haven't we? I'm taking a lot of unnecessary damage at the moment. Yep, that leads back up there, so we don't want to go this way. Hmm. I have to use my fairy if this carries. Oh, fuck off, my fucking swear to God! Oh, for God's sake, Bee Wolf, stop being so dumb! I swear, stop it! Pack it in! Get your bloody head in the game! Right. Leave me alone. Oh! Oh, we already did the third fight, didn't we? So we need to go to room number four now. So I'm just being a prat, ain't I? For fuck's sake, I thought I was... I need to use my fairy now. So I just need to bloody go to the... Um... I just need to go to the fourth bloody room now. God damn it, what the hell was I doing? I thought I was still on room number two for some reason. It's because, like I said, there was, there's so much bloody noise outside. It's very, very... Off-putting, you know. It's hard to concentrate when you hear nothing but screaming. Sorry about that, Wolf Morphets. That was uh, that was some bad gameplay, wasn't it? Sorry about that. <laughs> I thought I was still on room number two, and I was looking for room number three. Right, I have to go back to the beginning then. I could have used my ocarina, actually. Yeah, let's just use my ocarina. Right. This video is going to be a little bit longer. Because uh, i still got to do the boss fight. And I've also still got to finish this dungeon. So this video might even end up being like 45 minutes. I would prefer it not to be that long. Because um, I uh, the render time for 60 FPS videos is already very big. So, But you know, it's alright. I'm supposed to be going this way, and I hope I'm not wasting more time. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, actually, hang on a minute. I ain't even got my bloody bombs on. <laughs> Right, this is the last time we have to fight this guy. There we go, beautiful. Beautifully done. There we go, finally. <laughs> God damn, sorry about that. I got, for some reason I thought I was still looking for the third room, not the fourth. You got the hook shot. It's chain stretches long when you use it. Lovely. Right, so uh, we're going to be using this quite a lot now. But look, see? It's got some good range on it. 
Actually, let me use my uh, Ocarina of Time to get back to the beginning. I should be ending the video now, but fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna finish this dungeon. So yeah, this video is a bit longer. You know, I hope you all enjoy. Because I know people like to uh, they, a, a lot of people like to request long videos, but they don't like to stick around and watch them. So for the ones that are still watching right now, Beowulf loves you to bits. Because those are the real fans. Right now we can go over here. We can open up this chest first. Look at that, so satisfying, ain't it? Fucking hell. 100 rupees, boys and girls. We've got over a grand now in rupees. We're gonna be rich. Sweet. Or in the words of Eric Cartman. Sweet. I flipping love Eric Cartman. Absolute legend, isn't it? Right. There's still the possibility for me to mess up completely. Oh, the silver key. What do we need the silver key? Oh, yeah, we need another silver key to be able to get to uh, a few places, actually. Do I need health? Yeah. God damn! That's like 200 rupees in the last, like, flipping 20 seconds. That's beautiful. No, I don't think we need to go that way, do we? No, we don't. Right, so I need to go... I need to get to, uh... I think it's this door now. Yeah, and then I think there's another... And um, we also need to do that as well. How do we get back over there? Which set of stairs? It was that set of stairs, wasn't it? I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was that set of stairs. Get out of my flipping way! Just annoying having to do this all the bloody time. <laughs> oh, look at that. What a jump. I'm pretty sure it's this way, wasn't it? Watch out for these weird piranhas that don't even seem to have any teeth, but somehow do damage to me. <laughs> Very strange. Look, I don't want to fight any of you. Why, you. why are you so aggressive? You know, I'm letting you live. You should, you should respect me and be happy about that. It's because I'm starting to rush now. <laughs> Taking unnecessary damage. We do not want to use... I oh, know! We don't want to use the key on that. I hope I was supposed to have gone this way. Yeah, it is this way. Because we can now go through that door there. And I think that might be where we... Well, we, you don't get the Nightmare Key until you open whichever the final chest is. But uh, this will probably be another chest in here. What the hell are these? Right. I think I'm going to have to end this video now. We're going to have to finish this next time. Because this is taking a lot longer than I thought. So I'm going to see if it will let me save it here. Yeah, it will. Right, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf or Bets, because otherwise this video will be way too long and it'll, I won't have time to render it because um, I'm a lot more limited with time now because obviously I have to go to work and that again now. So I'll finish this up next time. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf or Bets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today.